woodlands and the rivers are calling out to me. It's the country that I live for, the place I long to be. Come with us, we'll take you on adventures by the score. We're the sportsmen of Newfoundland and Labrador. I'm here with Grant Hartnett. Grant's all the way from Halifax, Nova Scotia. And you're fishing here with your grandfather, Ed Curtis, right? Yeah. Is this your first time in Labrador? Yeah, my first time here, yes. What do you think of the trout so far? Uh, they're a bit bigger than what you've got home, I guess. No, only by a couple pounds. <laughs> nice to be here with your grandfather, right? Yeah. I've got Thanks. my grandson here, too. So, I know he's been having a ball so far. That's a dream trip since there's like five to come up here. After I saw the picture that he showed me, I was like, oh my God, how are you going to and finally here, it's amazing. Yeah, it's a lovely place. We've been here quite often. We were here last year, that's around the same time, and uh, we did really well with it last year. The biggest trout we've taken out of this lake's been nine pounds. That's a monster, Brookie. Yeah. You're gonna go home with a lot of great memories of this place, and your grandfather is gonna go home with just as many or more. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I love it. It's great. Never been such a beautiful spot in my life. Cheers. 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 And here's to Newfoundland sportsmen. Cheers. Newfoundland Cheers. Sportsmen. Newfoundland fish. <laughs> Cheers, Dave. Sure, Brian. Well, folks, today is the birthday boy's birthday. I'm not going to tell him how old you are, but we both know. But congratulations, bud. Well, Dwight, I reached well, another milestone. Appreciate your kind remarks. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it's going to be a great day. We're going to mm. have some fun. We're going to be flying uh, two hours north of the Igloo Lake Lodge into a place that's uh, very special to our family. Of course, it was this time last year that myself and my dad and uh, my Uncle Calvin went up and we had a spectacular day. And last Saturday, we were there with some Americans and they released over 100 Arctic char in a six hour period. It was amazing. amazing. So we're going there this morning and what a privilege it is to be with you. But I gotta tell you, there's nobody any happier than, than me and I've got my grandson with me, Jake, of course, yeah. who's never caught a char before. Oh. He's never been to Char Lake. And when he hooks into those 10 and 12 and 15 pounders, man, what a time we're going to have. I can't wait to get going. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Cal, as you mentioned a few moments ago, he passed away just recently, a couple of months ago, a month and a half ago. And, you know, we're certainly going to miss him because every time we went over to Char Lake, Cal was there with us and Cal had the, the shore lunch going and we'll have to recreate that today. We will, and I'm sure that he'll be there in spirit and uh, we'll be celebrating the memories yeah. and uh, of Calvin, of course, a, a very important part of our family and, and our outfitting business in, in, uh, in Labrador. And uh, we've missed him every day. It's, uh, it's, it's a sad time this summer, but also a time to be happy and celebrate uh, the memory of Calvin and all the great things and all the hearts he touched yeah. Uh, while he was here at Eagle Lake Lodge and throughout right. all the places he visited. He certainly did, there's no doubt about it. Well, we're chopping it a bit. We've got a cool morning. We actually had frost overnight, but it's going to be great flying time. we got a clear day. we got a little bit of a headwind, but that means a tailwind coming home. There you and go. All the excitement and stories to tell back at the dinner table. Come back and celebrate. Absolutely. What a great morning, eh? Oh, beautiful.
charity, of course, and you got a channel. This this water is shallow where I'm standing to now, but out there you got a deeper channel, and you can actually see them. There's a whole load of them, and they're coming up, uh, feeding off something on the surface. Not exactly sure what. Next to the Atlantic salmon. Oh, another one came up. Next to the Atlantic salmon, these fish are the hardest fighters by far. I mean, when you get a, a char on that's even three or four pounds, they'll strip you right into your backing in no time at all. Come on, baby, take that fly. I don't think, I got a bug on there now. I don't think they like it. I might put on a sandman worm. I think it might be more effective. <laughs> he gets tangled up more than he fishes. Strip slowly, right? Not taking much yet. They go into feeding frenzies. Every now and then, Whatever turns them on, I don't really know, but you'll probably see dozens of them come to the surface at the same time. Look, gee, there's some big. There they go, Mr. Yeah. Oh, lost it. Oh, nice shot. Well, that's all right. Touch what? <laughs> San Juan worm, buddy. That's what I'm using. Jake, when you throw out, let it sink for a couple of seconds and then strip in, strip all the way in slowly, right? That's when they take it when you're stripping, usually. There we go. There we go. Oh, God, again. Oh, my, with all the line that I've got out by the time I try to get the stack in, make it off. What? Yeah. I think they're back. They'll move off too for a bit. Char will in a different area in this channel and then make their way back here again. So you just gotta have a little bit of patience with them, that's all. There you go, Jakey. Your first Arctic Char. <laughs> Or could be a sea trout too. Um, nice fight, eh? Oh, gee. Oh boy, some some fight from <laughs> Your first early chair, buddy. Way to go. You got a glove? Look, he's gone right around me. Yeah. Man, oh man, did they ever fight? There you go, Jake. Oh, it's a nice little chair boy, about two pounds. Want to touch him, kiss him? What? Isn't that nice? Wow. Look, none the worse for wear. Well, grandson, way to go. Your first early chair. Nice one. Go, nice, baby. boy. Showing the skipper up, eh? Hey? Yep, showing the skipper up. Never lost it or anything. And I got a few tips from Bob. That gave me a bit of an advantage. Big advantage. There we go. Oh, no, I'll pop up with that. Ah. Uh, oh, I can see it at school. It's moving up, up the channel there. So I just threw in to them and bang. Wow. 
beauty. Some of these get to be huge. No, this one I think is relatively small. When I say small, two or three pounds. You know what this is? This is a sea trout. The land of plenty. Look, beautiful sea trout. Yes, boy, look at the colors on that one. Not a chair at all, but a, a speckle. See one speckle. Well, baby. Isn't that beautiful, huh? What a gorgeous, gorgeous trout, huh? Look at the colors. It's a male. And it's starting to get into his spawning colors. Barbarous hook they were using here. What a beauty. Great eating fish, too. Way to go. So we got char here, we got sea trout. And a lake this size, I wouldn't be a bit surprised that it may have a few lakers as well, even though we've never caught them over the years. Oh, oh. Missed. at all. Nail it, nail it, way to go. I'm only using the size 10 hook there. San Juan worm, little bead head on it. Friend of mine, Harold Crocker, told me something he knew I was coming to Char Lake and asked me what I wanted and I knew from previous trips they were good flies. He said, I'll tell you something. I said, thank you very much. <laughs> and they're working like a charm. I wonder if there's a Another speckle. No, small chair. There, local power in that. Look, geez, don't even pound. That's all, but man, man, baby. Pretty looking fish, aren't they, huh? Resembles a speckle, of course, but. I ain't gonna touch him now. Come on, baby. There we go, zoom, gone. Hey, Jake. Not very many rocks around here, it's all sand. It might be a stick or something, maybe, if you're poking up all the time. See him come right out of the water? Nice chair, I can tell by the way he's fighting there. He's trying to get out in the deep water. Man, oh man. Whoa! Come back, baby. Oh, he's a bigger one. Yeah. Still no monster, but he's a, he's a bigger one. Oh, gee, can they ever go? No. Glove time. Oh. Yep. Fresh too, buddy. I tell you, that's really fresh. Oh. oh I should be able to get bigger ones than that, eh? Yeah. Nonetheless, beauty trout. Look, look how nice and silver that one is. Man, oh man. Watch now. Shoo, shoo. Gone like a bullet. Don't like this. <laughs> oh, yes, boy. That was there. He won't help me at all. Imagine. Three to one. Won't help me land the fish. That was, Ron, that was, 
the fresh one. Usually, after being in fresh water for a short period of time, they'll start to turn into their spiny colors, particularly the males. I mean, they, they turn really bright red on the, the whole belly and uh, white, white tips on their fins and that. But when they're coming in from salt water, as you saw by that one, it had a nice silvery sheen on it. So it hasn't been in here very long. I don't know how far we're from the ocean. Probably nine or 10 kilometers, maybe. Got one, way to go, you got one. Way to go. So I'll have to give him a hand seeing who he is, hey? Papa, give you a hand there now if you can never get it in. <laughs> he's a bigger one, eh? Going out to sea. Look at him bending on the pole. Look. Wow. You're going to have to get your picture taken with this one. Fight as good as a salmon. Yeah, he's, ooh, he's a beaut. Uh, easier said than done there, Bobby. <laughs> no. <laughs> I told you. When you get them on, they don't jump like a salmon, but they sure fight. I'm going to go diving for them. Yeah, let's see if you can get him into me. You move back a bit, man. Boy, he's a he's a nice one. Wow, wow. Here, you put the glove on. Oh, we got him now. We got him. Okay, out. lift him up. Wait now. Keep the hook out. Keep him down in the water. Oh, crash in the water. Okay, beauty fish, buddy. Nice fish. Yes, sir. Oh, Look. Wow. That's a that's a dandy one. Oh jeez. Oh, that's a nice that was a beauty fish. Come on, Jake. <laughs> I'll be over to help you. Now you're into him. Why? Why? Latching on to him. Sam Iron Worm is working good for you now. Yeah, it's a smaller one, eh? Still a nice fish, though. Doesn't know about Sure do. A couple pounds. Oh, I missed. Nice fish, boy. Beauty, eh? Nice colors. Pretty. Real pretty. Way to go, three. Jacob. Three to three. Tied up. <laughs> you got the biggest one, too. I'll never hear the end of this. Yeah. Whoa! Hey, Jake. I haven't got it in yet. I can't count it, I suppose. It might be foul hooks, you know? I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, yes. Foul hooked them. That's how many fish are here, look. They're that thick, you yeah, foul hooks them. Okay, go on now. Had him right on his back. He just cut my finger with the leader line. 
just from the secret, it doesn't happen, say. Yeah, well, you know, they're traveling around here in a big school. And uh, if your fly happens to get into that school, so thick, I mean, they're on all different levels, too. They're down at the bottom, mid-range, up towards the surface. You can see them feeding here on the surface on something. So they're all over the place. And you just can't avoid it, but we release it anyway. Another one. <laughs> Every one in the same spot. Gee, see that? Oh, he's not that big. Well, he's hard though, eh? <laughs> Reel him in, Jakey. Oh, a couple pounds probably, eh? Nice fish, though. Gorgeous looking fish. That's four to four. Pretty that colors, one. yeah. That's four to four. You cut up to me. Go, See, I, I wasted my time on your fish too. Know what I'm saying? So like I've been catching eight. I wouldn't fish anywhere else on you. That one hole. Every time you uh, get your fly out there, you're you're hooking up. Any hole. It is. Must be a nice little depression there. Got another big one now. There we go. All I got to do is speak to the man. All right, you still got it? No, we haven't lost it. No, you've been pretty good at that. I got it. <laughs> What'd you say? What'd you say, Dave? <laughs> you know I don't lose fish. <laughs> my, oh my. <laughs> They're right in the honey hole. Two in a row. You can't. Oh, oh, gee, they getting a feeding frenzy. I just had one in too, huh? You got one there now, yeah? We're gonna keep some for uh, for a meal. Yeah. Hey. Oh, he's almost into his spawning colors. Up. He wants to head to sea. <laughs> Oh, he's a 10 pounder, eh? <laughs> Good fishing. That's... Way to go, Jake! What a team we make. <laughs> Jim. Gandy, Gandy, Gandy! <laughs>